Welcome back, Twin Tears. On your Thursday morning, I'm here with your meteorologist, Catherine Schwamm, here to let us know that today is a good day to get up and get outside. Because I know personally myself, I've just been home binge watching House of Dragons with all this rain. Yeah, I feel like everyone's kind of been cooped up inside because they're either seeing the showers or it's just been on the warm side and the humid side. They haven't been want they you don't want to go outside in that weather. Yeah. Today's a day where it's not going to be as humid, not as warm, and we're finally going to see some drier weather in store. And that's sticking around through the end of the week. So let's get right into it. Our West Hill Sky Cam looking beautiful as ever. You guys are starting off a bit hazy out there, and you can see a bit of cloud cover out there as well. The sunshine trying to peek through, but we are going to see that cloud cover, I would say, lasting into the middle parts of today. Now, as for your temperatures, we're starting off in the low to mid 60s. Not too bad of a start. 65 in Tioga, 65 as well in Watkins Glen, and 64 in Ridgebury. Now, we are seeing dry conditions, a mixture of sun and clouds. Overall, we are going to start to see those clouds decreasing and pushing off to the south and east as that system that brought us the rain showers yesterday exits out of here. By the end of the day, though, we are going to see some cooler temperatures in store. Comfortable, let's say, in the upper 70s, lower 80s, less humid conditions, and a northwesterly breeze at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, not only is it going to provide some cooler temperatures, it's actually going to keep some smoke in our upper atmosphere around for today. So you actually might see a vibrant sunrise or sunset or a bit of haze in the sky. And this is due to wildfires off the west coast and in Canada that's traveling through our upper atmosphere, all that smoke over our area. No, it's not going to impact our air quality, but it is going to cause for some vibrant sunrises and sunsets. And you can see it's here until about 5 p.m. tonight. Then it starts to push down to the south as those northerly winds take over and we see a dry air mass move over the twin tiers. So we will not be looking at any air quality impacted. We're actually going to see some drier weather moving in starting tonight and going into Friday. As you can see, high pressure is taking over the Great Lakes and this is going to continue to push eastbound over our area into the upcoming weekend. As you can see, not really too many clouds in sight or any precipitation. It's keeping us dry. It's going to keep things on the calm side. But as it does start to shift over to the east, we'll see a nice southerly flow heading our way for Sunday, and temperatures will be back on the rise. So let's take a look at that weekend forecast. Temperatures will be on the warm side on Saturday in the mid-80s with lots of sunshine. We're still seeing that northerly breeze as the high pressure system is right over us. But as it starts to shift to the east on Sunday, we start to see those winds shifting out of the south. The temperatures rising up to 90 degrees, but the sunny skies will be continuing before we see the return of showers next week. For today, you can ditch on the umbrellas though. Quads will be on the decrease. It's going to be less humid with a five degree guarantee of 81. We're going to see similar conditions on Friday as the sunshine continues. And there's plenty of sunshine to go around for this upcoming weekend. Temperatures will be in the mid 80s to start off. We're rising up to 90 by the time we do get to Sunday and we'll continue in the lower 90s on Monday. Ahead of our next system, we're sitting dry. You'll notice clouds though increasing. Tuesday and Wednesday, that's when we'll see our chance for some showers and thunderstorms moving in. During this time, temperatures will be in the mid to upper 80s.